Hey everybody. Now I know I'm gonna get a phone call part way through this because I'm waiting for a call from a client, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start because I might be waiting here forever. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I wanted to do a video about uh, packing for our camping vacation. And I, I pack pretty much the same way uh, when we just go camping for the weekend. But since we are going for um, 10 days, then I pack more. So I'm just gonna show, like normally I bring three tote things, small, not huge, but not tiny either, uh, <laughs> when I go. Uh, one for camping stuff, one for the journal and you know pens, and one for my uh, reading material, books, etc. And this time I will have four because I'm I'm adding on to it. But this is my. I'm sorry I don't I can't make it any like lower, but um, I can't change how my camera is in this situation. But um, this is just a tote. It's just a normal, it's got pockets. Um, and this is my devotional tote, and I just have two things in it. I have my soap, Bible reading, journaling, and I have my prayer journal. And I have a book I'm starting to read, Breathe as Breath, Breath as Prayer. Um, I've got my Bible. I've got a couple of devotionals and a, a very old book I'm going to read while I'm on vacation. The other thing I keep in here is my faith uh, journal. So that goes right here. Um, I usually put right here then my, I have a notebook that I take camping. It's a B6. No, it's an A6. It usually goes in here. This is my traveler's notebook. This is my daily creative traveler's notebook, which I look like. I'm gonna... <laughs> anyway, and this is my camping journal, also an A5, so that goes in there. And then <clears throat> I don't have room in here for my Hobonichi, so actually uh, the camping journal might go someplace else, but let me grab my Hobonichi my planner would probably go here and then I got uh, my tracker and that will go here and then um, so I usually have room for something else in here so um, probably I'll put this cartridge pouch so here is my cartridge pouch it's got all my fountain ink cartridges um, so that would probably just go right here, and then that's it for this one. So I'm going to move that aside, so I don't need to look at that again. It's heavy. <laughs> all right, and that's got all its own pens um, and stuff in it, so I kind of made that wonky. All right, the next thing is this. This is another, um, let me take this out. This is another container and it does, like this holds my digital pouch, so headphones and my chargers, that sort of stuff. Um, actually, I need to charge this charger. We'll go in there after I charge my watch. That's why it's sitting there. And this has our trailer keys. So that leaves uh, this big spot. So I have in here, I put this is my watercolor, what I take all the time, um, but not my water, it's not my usual supplies. So there's um, some paper and there is two journals and these are watercolor pens and I got 48 pans and some water brushes and a pencil and eraser. So that's kind of like on the go or whatever. It's the camping one. It'll be for here too, but I'm going to take it camping as well. And yes, that goes in here. So that just goes like this. And then in this case, I would be putting my um, camping journal in here. Maybe on the side like that. So the next thing that's gonna go in here are some pouches. 
so I have this. I'm just going to move this. <laughs> I have this yellow pouch. It's a large pocket, large drawer pouch. It's a Hobonichi thing. Um, and here I just keep some thin washi, uh, some white out. I usually throw some other things in here too. Um, but it's mostly stickers at this point. Just lots of stickers from my Hobonichi. So I'm going to zip that up. So that will go, and that just goes right here. All right, so then the next thing I have to decide is my pens. Um, so I'm gonna sit down for this part. And I have pen pouches, and I have pens, lots of pens. I'm gonna throw this one in to this Hobonichi pen. And so the thing is, I gotta figure out how I want to do these. I'm not gonna take duplicate colors, but I do want to. I wanted to see if these would fit in here because um, these are really my planner ones more than anything. Um, I also have this pen pouch, which I really like, and you open up and put more pens here. And then I usually put um, stuff in here as well. Just, you know, it just depends what I'm bringing with me. So um, I kind of wanted to see how this would work. So maybe what I'll do is put my pens in. This is really easier than me dragging, trying to drag them out of here like and see the colors, which is really hard. So let's just put in some of these neutrals to start so I can kind of see what I got. I think this is a green. So let's put the green. You know, it, it is kind of a green. Let's take this orange out and let's put in this gray and this gray. So that's probably enough for there. It's probably too much, but then we have this dark blue. Um, that's a medium blue, and that's a light blue. This is a bluish gray. Yeah. And then we have orange and peach and... Uh, oh, we have too many colors. Oh, well. Let's just see what we got. I definitely have too many colors. <laughs> Because here's my um, here's my purples. Would they fit here? Look at my purples. And then let's do something else here because I've got I've got my orange. Let's see. I did my orange, and I did that. I've got this kind of bright pink. I'm gonna put that there. I've got red and pink. And these are some yellows. Oh, here's another green. So yeah, I've gotta uh, change up a little bit what I'm doing because I have that green. I wanna make sure I get all the different colors and make sure I'm not missing any. I have doubles of a few, a few colors. I just wanna be sure I have them all. Here's another color I didn't put in. Okay, I don't want to, but I don't want to be repeating colors in here either. So let's put in the yellows. Maybe what I'll do is I'll take these out and put the yellows in here. And then I can put these here. So this will take care of all my Tombow markers, which I mostly use uh, for my planner if I do it this way. And if it shuts, well, it closes. <laughs> it closes most of the way, so you know what? I could leave it like this, and then I can just pull them out as I need them. All right, so that, that's done. I'm going to put that in in a bit. So these are the leftovers, so I don't, I'm going to just take those out. So they're out of my way. Actually, uh, i got a container I can put them in. 
so you can see how all this packing stuff works. Um, let's go this way. I'm trying to keep this somewhat straight. All right, so let's just put these in here because we don't need them. All right, then I have this and I have this is actually a makeup kind of bag, cosmetic bag, but it is actually a good pen bag as well, I think. So here's what I was thinking of doing. Um, I wanna take one of each color, but I also have these pens as well. So let's take these out. And there's no repeats in these Staedtler ink pens. And do I want them in here? Do they fit? That's the big question, because they have to fit. They don't fit very well, but they fit. They sort of fit. I don't use them very often, and the same with the midliners. Um, don't use them a lot, so I think I can just shove them all in here. Um, do I need to bring every pen I own with me? Probably not. <laughs> I might not. I might not need this. I like this. Um, uh, indecisions. Here we go. How about if I put these here? Okay, let's do this. All right. Let me just see. Because, you know, this actually holds an awful lot of pens. Uh, so we'll just, we'll just do that. Oops, wrong color. I meant to put this color. Yeah, I don't think I repeated any colors in here. So let's just do this. Um, I'll put this bright red here. Then up here, I can just put the rest of these. Kind of toss them in here. Let's take this one out. Let's put him up here with this orange. Okay. Well, I could have had one. Yeah, could have had one in here. Just put the ones I use the most over here, and then the ones that I don't use as much can go up there. All right. Okay, so that's good. So we're going to keep those in there, and we will close that. And then the fountain pens, when I'm not using fountain pens, um, I was going to put them in here. I'm not going to take these with since I don't use them that much, I'm not gonna take them. So we'll solve that. So here's a fountain pen. I'm gonna put him in there. This fountain pen will go in here. Um, any other fountain pens, I will just slip in here. So we can close that. And then I have these, all these pens. So, I have doubles. Oh, here's another pen that's a different pen as well. We'll just put that in here too, because it's not like a regular ink pen. That means I'm not using this, so. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. It was a gift, a sparkle gift. All right, so I would just wanna get the colors. I don't need every color, so, I mean, I don't need doubles of every color, so I'm just gonna get one of every color. I have this over on my desk. Let me grab those those colors as well. Hang on. I kind of want everything together. That's why I'm doing that this way. And I want to be sure I've got enough white out around as well. So usually I'll just stick a white out right in here. And then um, I closed that up, which is okay. I do like to have my little scissor with for certain things. Um, so I'm going to put this in my camping pouch, I think. All right, so colors. All right, so I only need one black, um, one black green, one light blue, and one dark blue. 
And I think I have three, do I have? Yeah, one dark red, one of the lighter red, um, purple, one of the purple, and the grays, one of the gray, one of the brown, and the red, the white, and this is just an extra black, which I'm gonna bring. So I will put all of those in there. Okay, so I've got all my pens in here. I can just kind of rifle through them, find, you know, find what I want for what I'm doing. All right, so that's actually pretty good considering. So I can put this one here and I can put this one here. It will go like that. And then, um, and then I'm not gonna put this in this awkward position. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it right here I think and I think that works all right so there's another case or whatever done so let's put that down <laughs> all my things figured out all right the camping one now um this is my camping tote it is quite large but it's not huge. Like, let me, let me measure it. All right, it's one foot, so 12 inches by uh, 12 and four, 16 about, and then deep, it's about um, eight inches, seven inches deep, eight maybe. Anyway, so it's got this tray, and then it's got this. So I'm gonna outfit the tray after I just double check I've got everything in here. So I've got stamp, um, stamp pads, stamps, and some more stamp pads in here, and then some more stamping stuff in here. Not a whole lot, don't need a lot. Uh, this side is camping stickers. Well, this is what I use when I'm gluing. So I have paper to glue on top of. And then I have, this is a camping sticker book, as is this one. Just trying to make my things fit well. Um, that's more, these are some more camping stickers and die cuts and some more camping stickers. I have lots of camping stickers. Um, these are templates that I use when I'm doing lettering. So I'm going to put that there. And then I usually put in some more stickers in here. So I have this book and this has camping stickers. This is a sticker book. So you just transfer the stickers on there. So I've done that. I'm going to put that here, then I'm just going to go through my other sticker books and just see if I need anything. Um, I know it's stuff I'm not going to bring with me because I'm like, I don't really need it. But this is some flowers. We'll bring that. Here's some other stickers I want to use up. And some more flowers. I always have a lot of flowers, it seems like. And then this is just a little bit of ephemera that I've got. For my journal. I'm going to put that there. So then when I place my tray in here, it fits perfectly. But just to make life easier, I'm going to show you this tray right here a little bit lower and I'm going to add washi to it. And I'm just going to make sure my supplies are good. So here's my glue supplies feeling a little like maybe I should just bring another one. All right, so there's three glue sticks I have um, in here. I've got uh, a clip and a tweezer, and this is just a little blade, and I don't need this. I'm gonna leave that. Two scissors, and I said I was gonna add my little scissors to that, so I will. I have um, the runner, you know, the 
adhesive runner and I've got an extra adhesive in here and a couple of small um, whiteouts. So I have extra whiteouts. And this is uh, baby powder for if, you know, a page gets sticky. I just rub it on there and that takes care of the, all that sticky. All right, and now I'm gonna add uh, my other washies to this mess here. So I'm just gonna kinda, I'm gonna fling these out of here so I can clean them up. What is this? Oh, this is a Deco Rush from Hobonichi and it's little plastic camping stickers. This is a new thing I'm gonna try and use. But let's just kind of get this settled. All right, so here's all my, here's my stickers. And I got some more of these. I love these things. But I want to put in a couple more. I got a couple more. Because I'm going to be doing different types of things. So I want to be sure I have everything I like. Maybe we go like this. And then I can go like, kind of like that. All right, so all the camping <clears throat> stickers, all the camping washi, I'm gonna just put here, I've got some super cute camping washi. So I'm gonna try and get this set up without things falling while I do it. Um, let's try and put you there. And it looks like I have room for another one so maybe that one can get in there and then oops back here <laughs> yeah anything that's kind of like camping ish related I try to just oh here's one I missed um, just try to put in here here's another butterfly sticker let's keep those together you can go here I think that works and it's okay I, I want to be sure I can get stuff out, you know. <sighs> Please cooperate over here. <laughs> I could just have less. I don't need all of these. These are doubles, so maybe I should take some of the doubles out so I don't have too many, like, I don't need to have, like, a gazillion of one thing. So let's just take some of those out and free some space up for for myself okay all right maybe I can go like this it's really hard to make that work the way I want it to you know <laughs> like this okay all right so then we have this I am not gonna keep that one I just have some bigger ones here still, so I do want to move those. Um, I'm going to bring this because I did start using this a little bit, and just because I like that color. So I'm going to actually bring both of these here. I have another butterfly, so I guess I'll bring that and this. I got these really pretty washies right here. Let's move you guys over here. Maybe I can go like that. Okay. These are really pretty. I'm going to put these over here. And I'm just going to put a bunch of different ones in because I am going to try and um, I'm doing different things and I want specific ones for other types of things that I'm doing. So let's see. Let's see if we can get some of these colors in here and kind of make this the way I want it to look. Okay. I only have so much room, so I don't want to be sure I have washies that I like with me. Um, kind of oh, just debating on that color, you know? Not sure. And I still have room over here. So I actually could do these big ones that I wanted to do right here. Or right here. Because this is big. Here we go. Um, let's see. What else? What else? Maybe this one. 
And let me see what else I've got. So I've got room for some, a few more others here. Like I said, I don't need everything. I do want this one, but I don't, don't have a space. Oh, I do right there. Okay, so yeah, I have a few left. I am going to leave them here, because that's okay. Like I said, I don't have to use every single one I own. All right, so that actually, there we go. The camping one is ready. So that's number three. So now all we have to do is pack up number four. And then we will be all set. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I bring a lot of stuff. I was going to bring my heat gun, but I don't think I'm going to need it. Sometimes I feel like I need it. Okay, so this now is for... watercolor. So what I need to do is figure out what I'm taking. Um, so I need some paper. So this one, I'm going to take this paper. Looks like I have something in here. Oh, I was doing something. I didn't finish it. All right. Not that that's a shock, honestly. But I'm, I'm going to take just some paper. I'm not going to take it all. I'm going to take this and this one. And, oh gosh, excuse me. And I think um, I just have some papers. I don't think I have any other actual um, ones that are big enough. This one, I could take this one. And then these can just, I was doing some stuff here. These can just be for, you know how you have to practice on stuff. So let me just bring a pack of practicing pieces here. All right, now um, the paint. So I have this one here. Which has its own mixing tray, so these are tube, tube paints. And then I have, I have to see how my space is working because if you get too tall, it's a, it's an issue. The other ones I wanted to bring, um, I want to bring these are metallic paints that I have. I don't have very many, but those are definitely coming with. And then I've got two other palettes, and I just have to decide which one. I don't think I'm going to bring them both, because it gets to be too many. So I have this one. I mean, it's not like I don't have a million, a million colors in this one. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to bring either of these, because if I did, it would be this one, and I don't... I don't it's really tight and I don't want to make it, I don't want it to be tight. So what I'm gonna do instead is put my heat gun in here. So uh, let me dig that heat gun out. Come on. Because when I'm doing some journal page prepping, then I do like to use um, a heat gun when I do that. So I'm just gonna, if the heat gun fits here, I'll bring it doesn't I won't okay it looks like it looks like it does I have a blow dryer there so sometimes I just use a blow dryer you know what I'm gonna conserve my space I'll just use a blow dryer but I do need this this is kind of a pad I can put stuff on so we will do this and that will be fun. And I'll put this here to hold it. All right, so that means now I have to do this. And let me think. So I, are there certain things I always take with me? 
So I'm gonna bring this and I'm gonna wrap it. I usually take water with me, like a water bottle or a jar, but I'm not gonna do that. But I do need a spray bottle. So I'm gonna take that and that, that should go in here. Actually, let's try that. And then I can just fold this in half. And I'm not gonna bring any books with me. I was going to bring watercolor books, but I'm not. <coughs> towels, just some towels, towel things. I think I can just pack those wherever. And I usually bring a rag or two, you know, you just, it doesn't hurt to have this stuff. All right, and then um, some tape for putting down, like taping down my stuff and my brush cleaner and black, I like to bring the black. Um, I usually bring one of these things to just kind of hold my brush, so I'll bring that and a dropper for water and a white paint pen and a couple of white, other white, because you, you do need to have some white. And then of course the gouache, the white gouache. Okay, so those are the biggies right there. And then the paintbrushes. So here are my paintbrushes. And I think what I'm gonna do is line this. I think that might be better for my brushes. So here are all my paint brushes. So I'm just gonna put them in here nice and neat. And I, I usually have something to set them in, but I am not going to do that. So I'll just use something from my trailer. All right. I think that's all. Let me just look. Is there anything else I might possibly use? A sponge, maybe, not for sure. I'll just put that there. Um, actually, I'm going to put it here. Less chance of it getting broken. And is there anything else that I have? These little little pieces. Maybe I'll just put those in there. And so, if I wanted to bring another palette, um, I could do one like this, but. I am going to resist because I know I don't use everything. I think I always think I do, but honestly, I don't. So, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to put it fits beautifully. So, not too much stuff. Voila! Yeah, I think that's good. Then I'm not taking too much. And I have four totes. And I am ready for vacation. I was contemplating bringing uh, one of my nature journals that I've been working on, but it's not quite ready. Only just started it. So I'm not gonna bring it. And you know what? I think I have absolutely everything I need. So there you go. I, I'm all set for vacation and very excited to be going and so glad that all those things worked. Thank you for watching. Bye.